What is up, everyone? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching this. Welcome to Sunday, oh wait, story time Sunday. Can you tell it's our first one? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, to start story time Sunday, we're going to start with... Our truck. The stolen truck! Yes! Oh my god. It's a long-waited video. Yes, very long-awaited, <laughs> and uh, it when was... When did this happen now, like two months ago? Almost two months. It was like May 2nd or May 3rd. It was like a Tuesday, I believe, where I went outside. Okay, so, our truck was stolen. We found it. So, let's start from the beginning. Yes. So, James gets up, normal day, go to work, get dressed, you know, get ready, do his hair, get ready, go downstairs, and then... I was very casual that day. I, I, I don't know, I was just in a casual mood. And I get downstairs, and I notice the truck isn't where I usually park it, and my first thought is, did I park somewhere else? And I'm like, I, I never would, but I start looking around, and I'm like, no, there's no way, why would I park anywhere else? And I think, did I get towed? And then I think, did someone steal my truck? Duke, move. <laughs> You're shaking the world. Go over there, buddy. <laughs> he has to eat his food right there, or his tree, and it's shaking everything. <laughs> so... Of course, uh, I wouldn't park anywhere else, and all I could do was think to myself, my truck is fucking stolen, and I started yelling, are you... F there's going to be lots of swearing. I'm sorry, video. there's <laughs> going to be swearing for the first time, I'll try and keep it out. Um, but all I could say was, are you effing kidding me? Are you effing kidding me? I'm looking everywhere, I'm like, what's going on? So I go and I call the super and I say, um, my truck's not there, do you know of any reason why my vehicle may have been towed? She says, no. I uh, called the police, and of course I was already there, I was calling the police. Um, so then he calls me, I'm still sleeping, I went back to sleep, because whenever he goes to work, he'll come, kiss me, say goodbye, and I'll go right back to sleep. So he calls me, and he's like, baby, the truck was stolen. And I was like, you're joking. And he's like, no, I swear to God, I'm on my way back upstairs, someone stole the truck. And I was like, what? And I sat up. Haley, dead to the world, like, didn't even wake up. I jumped out of bed and ran out to the balcony, and I looked and saw the truck was gone, and I'm like, who would do something like this? Like, are you kidding me? I was just, like, in disbelief, like, whoa. It was pretty freaking ridiculous. So I get upstairs, I'm pissed off, but I, I start, you know, thinking about what I should do, right? So I call my insurance. My insurance tells me that because the vehicle is 15 years older, I am not covered for fire and theft. Um, I feel like had I known I wasn't covered for fire and theft, I would have had it covered. Um, because when I signed with them, I only had like 80,000 kilometers. So it was a you know, pretty good truck. It's a 2001, but uh, it was in very good shape. Now I am covered. Once we recovered the truck, I sent them. All they wanted was pictures of yeah. the condition of the truck. And I was covered. That's it. Um, so yeah, that happened. And it was like $20 more. Yeah, 20 bucks more. Ridiculous. Of course I want it. <laughs> and then, uh, but of course, you know, now that you have it, it's never going to happen again, right? And then everyone we talk to about their basic coverage, they're like, no, I'm pretty sure we're covered for fire right? and theft. And we're like, you better call and find out because apparently we're not. We thought it was included in the package. So as you can imagine, I was pretty pissed off about that. So, um... Icing on the cake that morning. Yeah, seriously. No, I don't want to talk about icing on the cake. So we take the dog down, um, and then we come back up and find out the elevators aren't working. Yeah. So now we have Haley, Alusha, Alusha's mom, me, and Duke. And, and laundry. The, and, oh my god, we had the laundry too. So it was quite a day. We didn't... It was just like everything was going wrong that day. Majorly. So eventually the, uh, police, the police show up, I give them all the details, blah, 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 blah. Fast forward like the next day or the day after, no, it was my first day back at work. And um, we get the idea to call the OLG to see if any you of... You did. You got the idea. To see if any of those lottery tickets have been redeemed because they stole they took the truck his Nat King Cole CDs were in there he had yeah, they got the, on my Nat King Cole CD uh, case was there but well, they threw the out the CD I guess like <laughs> what the fuck seriously um, his like first generation iPod was in there with a broken screen didn't even yeah. work um, the part that you connect into the lighter thing to hook yeah. up the iPod to the car that was in there they took that an emergency toolbox I kept in there yeah. in case I broke a Tools. tire or something and that was it. They left. Okay, we'll leave that till 
we get that we got the truck back. Okay. <laughs> um, and then, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, so I called the OLG, mm -hmm. spoke to the OLG, and confirmed through my bank statements with everything else that they cashed a ticket in six hours after I noticed the truck was missing. So not even from when the truck was stolen, just from when we saw the truck was gone. That's right. Six hours later, we were like, these people are definitely local. Like well, for you to be a block five away, minutes away, not even we could see yeah, the plaza. where they cashed it in. Ridiculous, just ridiculous. So this fires me up. I am just fired up when I found out about this. I feel like at this point, yeah, at this point we're already like, I feel like the cops aren't gonna do anything. I feel like you know, it's just gonna be oh, if they call it in, then yay, here we go, we found your yeah. truck. But I'm like, I feel like they're not doing anything. I feel like we need to be the ones to look for it and, you know, take matters into our own hands. And it sucked because, for one, the insurance wasn't helping, so if we did not get the truck back, mm -hmm. we would have to pay for a, a brand new truck or, you know, whatever we can get. But it would not be nearly the as value good. of the truck. It would not be as good. It would not have the sentimental value yeah. as well, which is often, to me, is more than my, my um, monocle value. <laughs> <laughs> I know the word, I just can't think of it right now. Um, so yeah, I go over to this place and I ask them uh, and they say, oh, our cameras don't work. Of oh, course they oh, don't work. we just work. got them installed, yeah. but they're not working. Ridiculous. Give me the... Okay, they're probably working and you just don't want to be involved in... Exactly. So I called the owner of the complex and he sent... A, he apparently sent an email out. I never heard back. Nothing came of that either. Seeing if any people caught anything on their cameras at this date and time. Of course they never got back to me because they probably don't care. They don't want to get involved. It didn't happen to them, so who cares? Mm -hmm. Um, and then, um, pass that information to the police, they did who knows what, um, we kept, every day we kept driving around, we went for walks with Hazy, yeah. like, in the area, looking for the truck, still nothing. Uh, eventually we get to Saturday, I think it was the 7th, yeah, I believe it was the, the 7th. 7th, and dropped her off in the morning at her work, and I went for a walk, uh, up and around the area, um, came home, and I'm all pissed off, I'm looking everywhere, I'm posting all over Reddit. I'm telling um, everyone at my work, like, because they all, they see me come in the truck every morning, so I'm like, if you see the truck, let me know. People from my work are like, oh, does your truck have this? And I'm like, no, but thank you for calling, like, it was nice of you. Oh yeah, it was everywhere. I'm gonna, at the end, I'm gonna say a big thank you to everyone, um, I got lots of names I want to thank, so. Mm -hmm. So that day, I pick up Mrs. Sass, and, you know, it's, it's Pure, pure luck that, um... My mom let us use her car. Yeah. Um... Because she... The she initial had to plan do was, something or something, and she couldn't watch Haley. Yeah, but the initial plan was she was going to get you and come back. Oh, yeah, she was going to pick me up. And I was like, no, like, we want to go looking for the truck. And I'm like, can we use your car? She's like, oh, well... I don't know, she had to do something, I don't remember, yeah. something that she wasn't going to be able to, and we were like, okay, fine. But then, when we got home, she was like, yeah, you can take the car. We were like, oh, thank you. So. so, I picked her up, and I drove around all over the place, checking different parking lots, trying to check undergrounds. Because yeah. um, we kept thinking, if someone has the truck, and they're trying to keep the truck, they're probably going to hide it in yeah. the underground in their building, or somewhere that's not going to be in plain sight, that will be like, oh, that's our truck. Here it is. So, what, uh, I noticed I say what ended up happening a lot. Um, as we were driving down the street, and I was like, oh, you know, we could take the long way and just circle back. But I was like, you know what, Let's just, we'll turn down the street and whatever, we'll, we'll go whichever way we're driving around, right? And as soon as I make the turn, I see our truck at the end of the street. And immediately, my heart is going berserk. I'm like, holy shit, berserk. oh my god, berserk guts! <laughs> and, uh... And he's like, baby, Oh my god. that's our truck. And I'm looking, and I'm like... Is it? Like, it looks the same, but it's too far to see for me. I have bad eyes. I should be wearing my glasses. She was in the passenger seat, of course. Mm -hmm. I have a hair in my mouth. And from my side, I all of our bumper stickers were still on. Everything. Our Maple Leaf stuff. It all was... they took off was our Maple Leaf flags from our windows. They left all of our baby stickers on there, our zombie family stickers, our everything. Yeah. I could have everything. identified this thing from a mile away. Even the... Save our, save our troops? Yeah. Save our troops magnets that like or, really uh, come support right the off. troops. There support the troops. Save our troops. Save our troops. So I pull up and I tell her, I'm like, call the police, call the police. 
I know, and I'm like, I have my phone out, I'm already getting ready to call, and he's like, call the police, 911, and I'm like, I know, I know okay, this. Okay, I've, I've been involved in a lot of emergency <laughs> things, and sometimes, when people are involved with an emergency, they don't know what to do, so I'm guiding her the best I can. But I, but I was good. <laughs> I'm pretty wound up at this point, right? Yeah, we both were. We were like, oh my god. Oh, my heart, oh my, god. my heart was going crazy, because this person could come out at any time and try driving away, and Let I know. Let me point out that this is... Four sets of lights from our building that yep. we live at, okay? So we were like, if we would have just drove up the street that we live off of, we would have saw the truck right at the lights parked at the corner. When I mentioned I went for a walk this morning, I stopped one street before, before there. Ridiculous. It may not have been there at that time, but you never know. So, my heart is going crazy because this person can come out any time. We call the police, the police show up. They're like, don't do anything. If you see the person, don't do anything. And we're like, we're not going to, but I'm gonna pull my get bazooka. here. Hurry yeah, up. Yeah, hurry get up. Here. Um, my idea was they could uh, put an undercover person on that vehicle. Um, and just wait for that person to come back. Because I feel like they were going to come back. Um, but right, because they, they left the window. They broke the window somehow without smashing it. Yeah. And I feel like that was their way of getting in and out of the truck to take it wherever they were going. Because they drove 400 kilometers yeah. in the truck. They used the whole tank of gas. Well, there was like a little bit left, but still. So, pretty freaking ridiculous. And then, uh, but they apparently didn't have the staff to take care of that. Yeah. So, uh, police show up and I, I'm excited. I'm like, victory! I can't believe we found it. I say that to him, right? And he's like... <laughs> the guy pulls up and he's like, yes! To him, like, yeah! <laughs> and he's like, how'd you find it? Like, like totally oh, unimpressed. I should have just said, oh, oh, you know, I apologize, but I did your job. <laughs> I actually looked. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I'm a major supporter of the police. I really, really appreciate the job they do. It's an incredibly hard job. And, he and, wanted to be a policeman. Yes. It's incredibly undervalued and incredibly dangerous. But, like, wow, there's, like, no optimism. So... They broke open the her pastor side handle, they smashed the ignition out, broke my window, stole a bunch of stuff, who knows what else they did. Um, and eventually, you know, I had to pay to get different things fixed and installed. We felt so violated, like, someone was in here, someone touched all of our stuff, like, our stuff was everything, everywhere, everything that was in the, the glove compartment that was all over the floor, Whipped. all over the back seat, like, everything, it was just a mess, like, it was bad. And then... What pissed me off really bad... Um, they didn't touch her car seat, thank God. Haley's yeah, they seat. didn't touch Haley's car seat. But I had so much anger and like other feelings that I had no way to, to direct. I just had all this pent-up rage and anger and sadness and questions about why it would happen. And do we know this person? Are they local? Like, anything, right? Like, I kept thinking, had they seen us in the truck before? Had they seen us drive around? Like, was it targeted? Like, oh, we want to take your truck. Not, like, a towards us, just, like, oh, I want that vehicle. Right. Because it's old, I guess it's easy to get into, it's easier to break into. I don't know, it's just... So many questions run through your mind. Mostly anger. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, where we are now is... Uh, the next day, they cashed lottery tickets in St. Catharines. Again. Again. They and kept they winning keep, free yeah. plays. Um, so I passed this information on to the police, and then I hadn't heard back for a few weeks, so I called them. Or, no, I called, got their guy's email, sent the primary investigator an email, and he said, oh, sorry, I thought the case was suspended. No one told me this new information. Yeah. So I'm like, are you kidding me? This is like... Prime detail right here. This guy goes cashing in a lottery ticket. If these cameras work, you can actually do something about it. You may recognize him. Anything. Yeah, so we're figuring, because we got the truck the day before, he probably, if he was going back to use it, probably went, saw that it was gone, was like, oh shit, they found their truck, and booted up to St. Catharines to, like, hide out or whatever. Very, very possible, right? So, I heard back from the officer recently. They have the person's face. They know what he looks like. Um, it's not the people we thought it was because some people in the area kept saying, maybe it's these people, maybe it's these people. Mm -hmm. And we, were, we kept hearing about these people and we're like, maybe it was. And then the cops even said, if it's these people that I'm thinking it is, I would love to see them pinned up against the wall. Was that it? Yeah. Pinned up against the wall? Yeah. 
That would uh, would have been fantastic. And I, I just saw a blue truck drive by, and this is how bad still. it is. It still messes with me. I still look out there for something so stupid. Yeah, we spent a lot of time at our window oh looking out at God. the street trying to see if it's going to drive by at any second. And I kept saying, like, even after it was stolen, I'm like, I feel like we're going to get it back. I feel like it's mm -hmm. close by. I feel like it's parked at a mall. I don't know why it wasn't, but... I just, I, I'm like, I feel like it's going to drive by us one yeah. day and we're going to be like, holy shit, there's our truck. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> I could not stop thinking about it. All week long, I was a mess. I'd be happy, like, rarely. And then it would hit us again, like, we don't have a truck. Oh, we oh want to go God. do something? We can't. It was awful. It was truly an awful experience. So now we're just waiting for details of uh, what can happen. I'm waiting to hear back from the officer. We're going to send him an email. Um... But yeah! To see if we can see, if he'll let us see who it is. I know he's probably not going to. I would totally understand. Want to working in my field, I totally understand that, that you can't disclose that kind of information, but, but just out of curiosity. You never know. Is. You may recognize them, right? Because if they live locally, like, it's very well that we've seen them before. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's <laughs> kind of been the story of our truck. Freaking ridiculous. Crazy. What an experience it has been. Um, nightmare. And then we have, we should post a picture, but we had a picture, or a picture, we had these three <laughs> little blue guys and we'd be like, oh, this is me and James, this is Duke, this is Haley, and now we only have one because I guess they threw two out the window or whatever, and the one of them was his grandfather's yeah. that he had with his first car, which was a blazer, and they just chucked it or whatever, so like that's another sentimental thing gone, like thanks you And that's, face. that's how I look at it, like these things, these are sentimental items. Yeah, like who cares about the, the, the toolkit kind of too, because that mm -hmm. was his dad, so dad. it's like... How can you do that to someone? I can't. I could never do that. To steal from someone like that, even if it's something minor, I couldn't do it. Random story. I found a wallet with twelve hundred bucks in it at work. You know what I did? Returned it. <laughs> God, ridiculous. Um, but uh, so that's our day. That was our story, and it was just an absolutely awful experience. Any updates we get, we will share with you guys. Um, now we have an alarm system, the truck's all beautiful and fixed. And uh, I would absolutely love to take some time off to see this person in court. I would love, I would pay to go. So let's add in, he ended up using his brother's Mustang. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so this is more icing on top of the cake. Uh, when the truck was gone, he was using his brother's Mustang, and it is just brutal. The stick shift, like, not stick shift, stick gear. The gear shifter. Gear shift. It, the, like... The shifter cable seized while I was driving. Um, it wouldn't go in... If you were going to put it in a drive, it had to be, like, this perfect. And you'd have to slide it down. You could never go up. You had to slide it down into it. And then one day, it just decides... It's not going to go into anything now. It's only going to go into, like, reverse or something and like that. And it's a small car for him to get Oh, my into. God. It was tiny. It was he gets in and he's like... <laughs> Let's go! And, uh, oh, and then eventually it doesn't move at all. And I call my mom and I'm like, Mom, I'm sorry. I, like, I broke the Mustang or something. But it's not working anymore. Excuse me. It's not working anymore. And then, so that was parked out there for a while. And that... That was yeah, great. Yeah, it got stuck in our parking lot. Uh, <laughs> so we were just, like, on a roll with good news. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Mm -hmm. We will update you guys with more. But I just want to say thank you for everyone on Facebook and Twitter. Six foot four Honda. Oh, yeah, six foot four Honda. Big help. He posted on Instagram. Share, I think he shared it on Facebook, too. Yeah. Um, Twitter. Somewhere. But everywhere he shared it got at least... A uh, hundred shares or retweets or whatever, uh, but it got so many extra eyes on the road, like it really made a difference. Mm -hmm. And all of our friends on Twitter, you guys are all amazing in the support Smaller Streams community and the people who support us on our YouTube and everything there. And I'm, thank you, 604 Honda, for the back the fuck up sticker because I watch people read it every day and yep. it makes me quite happy. <laughs> um, so just all of the love and the supporting words and the kindness and people who follow the story, um, it means the world to us. And like even people, there were like people in like Arizona 
-hmm. They were like, oh, I'm sharing this. I doubt anyone here is going to see your yeah. truck, but, you know, I'm, I, I support you guys. I hope you find it. So and that fun. meant the world to us because it's it was a terrible experience. I wouldn't wish it on anyone but the guy who stole my truck. Yes. I hope you get your car stolen, sir. Bunch of dicks. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. That's our story. Thank you, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it. Anything to add, Mrs. S? Nope. That's our first story, story time, time Sunday. Sunday. Um, I hear Mason. Yes. I hear baby sass's music. So we're going to go out there, spend some time with our baby to end this Sunday. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed, and I can't wait to bring you some more justice. And some more stories. More stories! <laughs> See ya. Yes, you can.